our topic today of turning regrets into opportunities. Hmm. So we have a few videos now on decision making, on crisis, and I think all it comes to is that there are certain things that we regret and we can either like dwell on them and be upset about them or we can turn those regrets into learning opportunities and that's what we're going to talk about today. So um, as part of my job, so I work a lot as a, as a consultant and also as a professor and as part of that I was also preparing students or managers um, for job for jobs for so we, we we did job interviews and um, there was always one question I have been asking well it's actually part well, part A and part B <laughs> so no matter what I always ask this one question and it goes like this what is one thing when you look back at your work life your studies and so on and so far so what is one thing you regret you did do and what is one thing you regret you didn't do hmm Think about this question, or these two questions for yourself for a moment. What is one thing you regret you did do, and what is one thing you regret you didn't do? So um, when I started to kind of like look at, you know, after doing hundreds of those um, interviews, is that I started to see a pattern, and um, I'm happy to share this with you because I think it can it can really help us. So. Number one, it is true, so the saying that we regret more the things we did not do than the things we did do. <laughs> so when I ask this question, it is more likely that people say, yeah, I regret that I didn't do that. But most often people say, yeah, well, it, it leads to something. So even if it's in the moment that you think, yeah, maybe it was not so smart that I did do that, but actually long term you can see um, a link to it. So I think when we talk about regrets, um, we have to also calm ourselves down and say it's the best we did with the information we had um, and it's good that you yeah that you're brave enough to try to try things so that was one thing I, I, I saw as a pattern another thing I saw was um, it was really not listening to oneself so not listening um, to what yeah what the, the person wanted so a lot of a lot of um, people I interviewed said things like, yeah, I listened to my parents or I listened to my friends. They all wanted to do something with media. So then I thought, oh, I'm going to do something with media. Or I thought, oh, it would be cool to do something like this. And so um, that's where we, um, yeah, where we often end up in, in, in doing something. So make sure um, you listen to what is really important to you. Uh, a third thing I noticed was um, that people regret that they didn't really listen to what they liked. So they maybe, um, they were listening to themselves, <laughs> but they didn't allow themselves to really um, yeah, connect with what they wanted to do. Um, but it was more about, yeah, maybe it's smarter or this gives me more money or I should be doing that. Um, so I think that was another thing. And number four was actually not seeing the big picture. So they might have been too focused on just one thing. So too focused on the studies and not enjoying life around. So not going out with friends, even though it was a really stressful time and so on. So try to see the whole picture and see your whole life um, instead of only zooming in on one thing. So again, think about this question. What is one thing you regret you did do? And what is one thing you regret you didn't do? And instead of dwelling on it, <laughs> just try to see it as a learning opportunity and think right now, and that was always the next question I was asking in those interviews, well, what have you learned from it? And what are you doing differently now because of it? And I think if you focus on these questions and the learning opportunities and what you want to change, then you can see that we will turn regrets into opportunities and it's like, walking on clouds. Thank you so much. Have a nice day and see you next time.